Well, news has broken today about the Ed Snowden case. The email provider, LavaBit, if you remember, voluntarily closed rather than turn information over to the government. And the records were unsealed today. It's now going before a court today, and they unsealed the records. And we learn that they wanted all of the web traffic to the site, not just information about Ed Snowden. And unfortunately, Wired Magazine puts it this way. They say because they were only going to provide metadata, pen register orders can be obtained without probable cause that the target has committed a crime. That is not true. It's a shame that Wired Magazine would put that out there. Metadata is still personal data, and that is not exempted by the Constitution. There's nothing in the Constitution that says that some of your data may be taken without a warrant. No, none of it may be taken by a warrant. And it's great to see that this guy stood up to them. This is what he said. I have been forced to make a difficult decision to become complicit in crimes against the American people or to walk away from nearly 10 years of hard work by shutting down Lava Bit. He said at the time, after significant soul searching, I have decided to suspend operations. You know, criminals like James Clapper and Keith Alexander can go free, but they can shut down people like the owner of Lava Bit. But even though he may lose his fortune, even though he might lose his life, some of these whistleblowers, he still has his integrity. They can't take that away from you. You can give up your integrity. You can lose it. But they can't take that from you, and he still has that. That's far more valuable than anything that he could have had if he had caved in like all of the major corporations did. Well, coming up right after the break, the InfoWars crew goes to where the NSA is keeping all the information that they take from you illegally, the Utah Data Center. Alex Jones here to warn you about some of the most important health information you may ever hear. I'm talking about radiation, radioactive fallout, radioactive particles contaminating the Northern Hemisphere. Conservatively, since the 1940s, the Northern Hemisphere of our planet has more than doubled its background radiation. In fact, that was before Fukushima exploded. Now the levels are going up and up and up. Fish are contaminated in the Pacific, and the FDA, the EPA, and others, they're not worried about it. They've been raising the levels of what they claim is safe radioactive particles. So after more than two years of research into how to protect my family, looking at all the literature, talking to the experts, across the board they agreed, iodine is key, but of the family of iodine, nascent, natural, non-GMO, non-factory iodine that comes from the earth is absolutely paramount for your thyroid and other functions in the body. The literature, the research, it's there. It's not my opinion. It is admitted that iodine is essential for the health of our bodies overall, and nascent iodine is the best form. Now, we're announcing the launch of InfoWarsLife.com, and we're going to bring you scores of products over the next few years that we're researching and developing. But nascent iodine is the first product we're coming out with because it's so important, and it's also listed as a fluoride detoxer. It does so many other things. Your body needs it, and when you don't have enough iodine, forget the radiation, your thyroid absorbs the sodium fluoride and other things. Nascent iodine and InfoWars Life Survival Shield in double strength at half the cost of the leading competitors. Please visit InfoWarsLife.com today. Well, earlier today, some of the InfoWars crew went to the Utah Data Center, and you saw this live if you're watching The Alex Jones Show, the place where they keep all of your data, but you're not allowed to even photograph the parking lot. Here's the highlights from that. And Anthony Gucciardi reporting for InfoWars.com and StoryLeak. Dot com is at NSA headquarters with InfoWars, Weldon Henson and Josh and others from our great crew. Uh, the reason I'm not saying Josh's last name, he's worked here a while and does a great job. I don't even know if Josh wants his full name on air. Some of our folks like to stay incognito with the NSA as if the NSA doesn't already know uh, Big Brother. They are now arriving at the base. 
They have army bases. You can see the guard towers in the live feed there to keep the slaves out and keep the criminal operation going. They also use it to spy on drug dealers that aren't paying their cut. That's come out in the Associated Press years after we told you. There's the military base uh, on the edge of the giant uh, NSA command base. Anthony, uh, closing comments on the phone before we flip over to your live feed. Exactly. So we're now right up here on the NSA data center. As you've seen on the live feed, you can see the military outpost, the tower, the data center itself, which is massive. And this entire time, the last uh, three, four minutes we've been talking, we've been driving along the outskirts of this massive eye of Sauron. This, this gate you're seeing right now, if you're watching live at Infowars.com, this live stream, we're going to approach the NSA and uh, talk about the fact that they are completely spying on us, but we can't actually document them through the First Amendment. This is the official live feed. We are now entering the NSA back. We're going to go into the military establishment, but we couldn't resist. There's so many signs here saying, do not go in here, essentially, or you'll be arrested. No filming whatsoever. This is complete surveillance state on us, all these cameras. Yet, we're not allowed to even film with an iPhone, which is what we're using right That's now. That's because they're committing crime. So here's, here's the Inside. problem. They said we couldn't get in the parking lot. Everyone told me there's no way you're going to get in the parking lot. You will be arrested before you even set foot in the parking lot. Here we are, the NSA data center parking lot. They're just staring at us. Maybe it's, maybe it's because... Maybe they're fans of the show and they heard and they're waiting for us, but should we maybe go over there? And they see are them? staring at us like we're some type of goblins or something. I need to turn these cameras off. Yeah. Listen, listen, they're calling in their buddies. They're about to call cameras right now. Well, just keep the live feed rolling. It's First we're saying, Amendment. Hey, we're saying we're on live feed, First Amendment. We're saying First Amendment. We just want to ask some questions. We're just trying. We're live streaming right now to, on Alex Jones show. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, hey. He cut the live feed. These guys Alex, love to scare the, Americans. The live feed. They love to try to intimidate everybody. He's, they're taking the cameras. They're taking the cameras right now. There you go. National incident. You can't pull listen, up in a parking is, lot listen, okay. in America. Okay. There you have the NSA people grabbing the camera at a parking lot on the edge of the base. Live on air right now. We're just live on air. Okay. Tell them what they did to you off air, threatening you with dogs and stuff. So they took the cameras, turned off all the stuff, and then we're standing there. And I'm saying you're not deleting the content. I'm not allowing you to delete the content. We will leave. We will leave. And he's like, no, it's illegal under CFR, whatever. And we called you live on air, and you looked it up. It's not even what it says at all. They have no idea. It's not even the right one he referenced, and he has no idea. So we just kept saying, that's not even true. You're lying to us. You're not telling us the truth. It's completely fake. And he was like, no, it's not. I know the law. I'm a lieutenant of the NSA. And he said, are you going to arrest me if I don't give your ID? He's like, maybe. And then he's like, I got a dog. And I'm like, <laughs> it was really <laughs> almost funny. It's really <laughs> almost funny how pathetic it was. If you are the ordinary person, and you start seeing a bunch of headlines saying, uh, U.S., Big Brother, looking down on you, collecting telephone records, etc. Well, uh, understandably, people would be concerned. I would be, too, if I wasn't uh, inside the government. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it. They can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right, right oh, there's now. another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie at Infowars.com. And remember, every order at Infowarsstore.com receives a free citizen rulebook.